What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you guys how to replace the speedometer gear in your Jeep TJ. When you upgrade to bigger tires like these 35s, uh, your speedometer is going to be off. So basically all you got to do is I'll put a chart on the screen here and I'll also leave a link in the description to this. But basically all you do is you find your gear ratio and if you don't know what your gear ratio is, I'll link another video um, to a VIN decoder and then that will tell you what your gear ratio is on your TJ. But basically you'll find your gear ratio and then you'll find the tire size that you are going to be changing to and then it'll give you um, the number gear that you need to buy. So. Uh, next, we're going to just hop underneath the Jeep. Um, as you see here, this is where the speedometer gear goes inside to the transfer case here. So all you're going to do is you're going to push this little tab over, that little red tab, push it over and then push right here and lift the little cap off and put that away for now. This bolt here is going to be either a 13 millimeter or a half inch. Uh, they both fit on here uh, and they both seem like they have pretty much the same amount of play. Maybe the half inch is a little bit better. We're gonna use the half inch here. Okay, we'll get the bolt off, and then all we're gonna do is lift this guy off here, just like that. Then we can just pull this guy out. And if yours is really caked down with a bunch of junk, I'd probably take some brake clean and get this whole area clean before you pull this out because you wouldn't want stuff falling into the uh, transfer case, any junk. So we'll just kind of rock it out here. Just like that. And I lost my gear. Okay, so here's my little gear. And I'll show you guys um, how it goes. All right, so here's the gear. So all you do to remove it is you pull on here and it comes right out and then your gear is going to have a number on it just like so and then you're going to grab your new gear set it in there like that and then the, the main idea here is on this housing there's going to be a bunch of numbers so like for instance this is 35 to 40 sorry 39 to 45 then this one's 26 to 31 which is what mine is going to be in and then 32 to 38. So basically all you have to do is whatever gear you have, so like for instance, mine's a 29, I'm gonna rotate this thing to be in this 26 to 31, and this 26 6 to 31 is going to be facing down towards the ground, and I'll show you a little bit better once, it's, uh, once we're over by the transfer case. The idea is here, so as you can see, this is 26 to 31, mine's a 29, so I'm going to insert it in like so. So this is facing downward. And this is going to help you. So it's not going to be directly down. You're going to have to put this, um, I don't know what you would call this little keeper guy in to kind of guide you. And then obviously I'm going to rotate there. That looks good. I'm going to push it in now back and forth just like so. And then we'll put our bolt in. So you want to use this to kind of help you locate where, I guess it's not directly down, maybe I would say maybe five o'clock position. So where you can basically just have the numbers where you can see them, basically right here. So it's kind of in line with this, the lower part of this little clamp bracket thing. So that's pretty simple, just like that. Then we're gonna tighten this up. And it only works one way. So if you hop in your Jeep, and it's not, you don't see, uh, your speedometer is not working, that means you probably put this in wrong. Um, it only works one way. So that's uh, just something to, uh, something to consider. Then we're gonna do this the German way. Click, click, good and tight. You don't wanna go, you know, obviously nuts with it, but you know, cause it, it doesn't, doesn't really need a whole lot of pressure and then push that clip over like that and uh, we're good to go. So anyway guys that's pretty much it how to replace the speedometer gear in your transfer case to get your speedometer to be correct for your bigger tires. Um, yeah so anyway guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you found it helpful if it did definitely give the video a thumbs up that helps me out a bunch guys and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video.